How's it going everyone? Welcome to season three of Ground to Grounds. I've come to Hereford for the first ever time and go see a Hereford derby in pre-season as Hereford Pegasus take on Hereford FC. Team I've seen many times play against Cheltenham, but it'll be good to tick off one of the Hereford clubs. It'll be a good start to the season, see a brand new place. So let's have a look around. New season begins. Salam. Welcome to season three. How are you feeling about the grounds and all the adventures coming up? It's all right. It's all right. The Gloucester Grunt Hopper is back. So Tom, where, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. Where, 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 are we, where are we thinking of venturing this new campaign? Oh, loads of places. Stay tuned. You're just a bus stop near Worcester. Bus stop near Worcester. So expect a decent turnout today apparently, yes it's a Hereford Derby. I like a good 4G pitch. These are on the up and they're very valuable to all the non-league clubs. Ah, it's so good to be back. So we've got a nice bit of history. Side no pin badges, but you've got a nice Pepsi Max. Here's the season three. Woo! Kickoff is rapidly approaching here, but before we get to that stage, let's find out a bit about today's host, Hereford Pegasus. Hereford Pegasus were founded in 1955 as Pegasus Juniors by a group of players from a local boys team. They started playing in the Herefordshire League until they joined the Hellenic League. They won the first division and remained in the Premier Division for eight years, bouncing back at their first attempt. They were demoted in 1995 due to ground regulations, but were promoted in 1999 and remained in the Premier Division until 2011. After suffering relegation, they chose to move to West Midlands Regional League to minimise travel. They changed their name from Pegasus Juniors to Hereford Pegasus in 2019. They returned to Hellenic League Premier Division in 2022 after winning the playoff final against Worcester Raiders, and have remained here since. Overall, they have won two Hellenic League Division 1 titles. So those are the hosts, Hereford Pegasus. Let's have a look inside their home, Old School Lane. Nice bit of food of the season, got a nice cheese roll and some quavers, three quid, let's enjoy. <laughs> so 15 minutes in the first goal of the season has been scored by someone me and Tom Noel former Cheltenham player and a man who's been around the block in the football league Andy Williams ball sort of scrambled around the box Hereford Pegasus couldn't get away and he slotted it in the season will not be starting with a 0-0 it is 1-0 let's hope there's plenty more goals to come <laughs> Looks like we're in for a goal first. Air for Pegasus against the run of play. Equalised with pretty much their first chance of the game. It's a good start to the season. 1-1. One, one. We got everything today. Penalty to Hereford. There you go. 2-1 to Hereford FC. No. I don't know who it is. We are indeed experiencing a goal first now. Number seven for Hereford has been a superb all game. It's just tucked it in. Four goals in the first half football of the season. Having fun, 3 1. So it's half time in the first game back. It is 3 1. What do you think so far, Tom? I feel like we're going to have a season with not many 0 0s. We're going to now, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> anything, to say, anything else to say? No. Oh. <laughs> Our time 3 1, it's good to be back. I think it's been a good welcome. Goal fest, Let's see what happens in the second half. There is indeed a goal after all in the second half. Hereford had a free kick on the edge of the box, it killed it into the bottom corner beautifully. Had the cherry on top 4 1. Thank you. 
So, game one of the season done with five goals, an excellent start. Thank you to Maldo for driving us as always. But yeah, it was good. We were chatting to a bunch of other ground hoppers. People, someone next to me come all the way from Kent to see this game. So, people like us have started their new season off up and running. There'll be plenty more to come. We're off to a couple of grounds in the next few weeks. But before we do that, I think it's time to wrap up this video and rate the experience. Let's go. So we'll start off with the welcome and I will give this a 6 out of 10. Weren't too many staff there, but once he spoke to a friendly, we didn't speak to many Hair for Pegasus fans, but it was clear that a lot of people had come that were ground hoppers. And the fact that it was a Hair for Derby, but there wasn't anything heated, I think was was really good. And it's well set up for a good day out. You know, you got those benches outside in an ice cream van, place for kids to play football. There have been like stronger welcomes at other clubs. So that's the only reason it hasn't got more points. But at the end of the day, it did the job. So I think 6 out of 10 is a good score. In terms of food and drink, it was basic, but it did exactly what you needed to. You could get a sandwich, crisps, pie, ice cream. So I think it was a good level of variety and food did the job it needed to. So yeah, I was happy with the food and drink. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Atmosphere, again, it was a decent turnout for that level, but sadly, of course, I do appreciate that level. The atmospheres aren't the biggest, but even though it was pre-season, it was a hair for Derby, but I think overall I'll give the atmosphere too. I didn't expect like a huge atmosphere, so I don't mean a two for an atmosphere and then sort of a club. That's just the way it is at this level. But that being said, still a lot of people that did turn up, so fair play, all the people that came out for pre-season friendly. Stadium, it has for the most part what it needs to. It's got a stand, but also areas you can stand and mini bits that look like bus stops that you can have shelter in. I think you probably do have one more like proper stand just for alternative area for people to see it, an opportunity to get more advertisements on the board. But yeah, I hope in, in time that will come. There seems to be a lot of space around the ground they can develop. I think there was a decent clubhouse as well. It was like old fashioned, but maybe could do have a bit more space there if possible. So yeah, I'll give the stadium a 4 out of 10. And finally, value for money. I think they did really well on this one. I spent just over a tenner on everything. It was a shame they didn't have a pin badge, but ticket was 7 quid. Sandwich and crisps, only 3 quid. So I think value for money, they did a really good job. And I'll give them an 8 out of 10 on that. So that was the beginning of the 23-24 season. Hereford Pegasus will be going to many more grounds this season. I'm very excited. Thank you for starting this new campaign with me. I'll see you for many more games to come this season. Cheerio.